Tutorial Tuesday with Crafting Cousin. Let's craft, y'all! Hey, y'all, it's Kay. I'm going to be using this 8x10 canvas panel. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. The tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree. Some wood glue. I need some paint in a dark red and also a bright red. Some black chalk paint, my paintbrush. I have some stickers that say Noel that I cut on my machine and then some various tools like a pencil, some tape, and of course my ruler. I'm using my ruler here to draw one inch sections across my board. I know I could do this with just painter's tape, but I want to be very precise. This ruler is awesome because it is exactly one inch wide. And now I'm turning it the opposite way and drawing lines again. Yes, I'm going to be painting some buffalo check. And now I'm giving my entire canvas board a shade of bright red. I just want to cover the entire board and then let it dry. And now I'm coming in with my painter's tape. I did make one mistake. My painter's tape isn't exactly one inch wide, but that's okay. I'm just going to use two stripes on each section. Because my board is only eight by 10, it won't take very long. So if you notice, I've turned it now horizontal and I'm doing every other stripe in the blue tape painter's tape. And now I'm going to turn it the opposite way and do more strips of blue painter's tape, giving it a checkerboard effect. This really didn't take very long. I'm careful to burnish it down because I don't want too much bleeding through. And now I'm coming in with my black and I'm going to paint the exposed squares. I'm using black chalk paint because that's what I had on hand and it dries very quickly. If you just kind of dab the paint on with a chippy brush, you don't have any bleed through at all. Have you tried this technique before? And while it's still somewhat wet, I'm going to go ahead and remove my tape. I know that there are easier ways to do this, but this is just my favorite method. Now I'm going back and I'm going to cover up all of the black and come in with my dark red. In Buffalo Check, there's really only two colors. You could make this dark red paint by using a little brown in the red you already have. But since I had it, I decided I would use it. And again, I'm just dabbing it in. And removing the tape while it's still somewhat wet. And in between each color, I always let it dry thoroughly. And if you notice, we still have one more step to go. Now I'm coming in and I'm covering up where I painted the dark red, making sure that my tape is wide enough. And then I'll also cover up the black. And back in with the dark red again. And this will be the final step on painting this buffalo check background. So I'm removing the tape 
There is nothing more satisfying than removing that tape. And now for the frame. I'm going to use my tumbling blocks and a little wood glue and connect them together in such a fashion. This square that I'm using came from the Dollar Tree. It has been invaluable. And then I want to connect five in a row twice and four in a row twice. And then I put them back in my square to make a frame. I just hold mine to the glue kind of sets and then I just use a little painter's tape to help it along and I leave it overnight to dry. I wanna make sure that my frame is square. I used about a half box of tumbling blocks for this project. So that's a 50 cents frame. Now that my frame is dry, I'm going to put on black chalk paint and cover all the little nooks and crannies. I only needed one coat and I didn't even use a base coat of paint. Now I'm using my letters that say Noel. I cut those on a cameo silhouette and I'm just lining them up in the center and burnishing them down with a popsicle stick. Now it's time to attach the frame. A little hot glue and place it down. And there it is. I love how this turned out. It is going to be so beautiful on my mantle at Christmas. Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you're new here, we hope you will subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe below. Make sure you ring the bell when it comes up and YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. We upload videos five days per week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, paper crafting, hauls, and craft show information. We just know you will find something you like here at Crafting Cousins. For our second project, we're going to need some twine. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Some glue, just all purpose white glue. Some really tiny balloons. These came from the Dollar Tree and they are actually water balloons. I need a bowl. I'm using a popsicle stick as a stirrer. And I need a little water. I have some extra cups that I'm going to be putting our ornaments on to dry. And a couple of bows from my stash to add to the end project. I'm blowing up my balloon, keeping as much of a round shape as possible, tie a knot at the top. And then I'm going to take my glue and start mixing it in my bowl with my water. You want about a one to one ratio, half glue, half water and I just mix and stir until I get exactly what I want because you don't want the glue solution to be too watered down and now I'm taking my twine and I'm going to soak it in my glue it always takes about twice as much as I first think it's going to take and I'm going to tie my twine in a knot at the top of my balloon to secure it. And then I just lather the glue around the balloon to help hold it on. And then I just start rolling it around my balloon in a random pattern. I make sure that some of my strings are going at a diagonal, some are running vertical and also horizontal. When I get it full as I think I'm going to want it, then I just lay it out to dry on my cup. And once it's dry, I come back in and I burst the balloon. I left these drying for about two days, which was way too long, which means my balloon got kind of stuck to the side. But that's okay, I can work with it. I just use my little pokey tool and go in and pop all the various areas and I eventually work it all loose. 
I'm going to use a bit of that twine and come in and tie my ornament holder. And finally, I will add our bow at the top, right in the middle of where the string comes in, and just attach it with a little hot glue. And there they hang. I love how these turned out. I have about six made, and of course, I'm going to make a whole bunch more. Thank you so much for watching. If you saw something you liked, I hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and any suggestions you might have for us. We would like for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Tutorial Tuesdays, either a Hump Day Hauls or a Wednesdays, Trash to Treasure Thursday, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday mornings. See you tomorrow!